So we've covered so far, so now we're going to move on to exercise. So, so far we've covered heat, form of energy, work, form of energy, entropy, possibilities, Associated with boundary work. So internal energy is a format we had the enthalpy H plus U plus P V, but the enthalpy turns out to be equivalent to the internal energy not associated with changes in boundary. So I haven't used that in, in direct words, but the energy not associated with boundary work, it's more of the energy associated with thermal work, changes in temperature. And of course we had, coupled with all these, internal energy, kinetic, potential, So far, we've covered all that stuff. And now we have what is called exergy. And the symbol for exergy is a big X. Now, there's also a small X, just like there was a big U and small U. And exergy is the energy not associated with boundary work and so not associated with boundary work so that's my H and E So we have the enthalpy not associated with boundary work. So exergy is the energy not associated with boundary work and heat transfer. So we had this expression for H that is related to U, and we can get an expression for X, or delta X is equal to delta H minus T delta X. Exergy, this is associated with, this is the part not associated with boundary work, and this is the part associated with heat. So my change in exergy is equal to delta H minus TDS. Likewise, I had H is equal to U plus PV. So I can use this. Delta X is equal to, of course, Delta H is equal to delta U plus P <coughs> V plus V delta P. So I can just plug this into here, and I got delta U plus P delta V plus V delta P minus T delta X. So two different expressions for the change in exergy. Now, this is the change in exergy, right? So these are... Delta X equals X2 minus X1. So change in exergy of a system. Okay, so 
I had some other, so I'm just going to write C book definition of C book definition of exergy. Um, I'm not going to write it out because we're short on time. And it's, it's like 60 words or so. But anyways, um, so another way, so this is kind of how the book looks at it. Okay, for exergy, I just want to point out that exergy also deals with energy not associated with boundary work, heat, and chemical reactions. So the exergy in general, so if I include include chemical reactions, I have X is equal to U plus PV minus TS minus the sum of I, mu I, and I, where mu I is the chemical potential, and Ni is the moles. Have it so in this early we haven't included chemical reactions, but in re, in rea so the book doesn't talk about chemical reactions, but in general exergy also deals with the energy not associated with this is H boundary work, this is the Q part heat, and then this is the chemical reaction part. So you can see that this side this one ends up there's no because of the directionality. So it's minus heat, minus chemical reactions, but this is equivalent to a minus when you, we put it there. So PV is the available boundary PV work. TS is the heat loss or entropic loss. And this is the available chemical energy. I'm not going to write it out, but in general, the exergy is an energy not associated with boundary work, entropic loss, and chemical energy. So chemical reactions, entropic loss, and boundary work. So that's a general introduction to exergy. So So other textbook references use B instead of X. We will use X. So let's consider our system. And around our system, we have an environment. Around our environment, we have our surroundings. Okay, and there is some work or heat transfer between our system and our environment. work AVIL. So work AVIL is the work available. <coughs> so there's some work available associated with, with transfer between our system and our environment. 
So I can use this x way of looking at it, and I can say the change in x would be with respect to time is equivalent equivalent to the S system plus S environment and so the time rate of change of the entropy of the system plus the entropy of the environment is what? Relative zero. Greater than equal or less than or equal? Zero. And so the change in x with respect to time is the same. So related to, let's get rid of chemical reactions and let's write out our, again, our xg relationship. So x is equal to u. And then now let's consider r, which is a reservoir. or surroundings. Okay? And so now I have my exergy is equal to U plus the pressure of the reservoir times some the volume minus the temperature of my reservoir times the entropy. And this is my thermal mechanical Now I could add my chemical reaction part if I wanted, but we're just gonna, I just introduced the fact that the chemical reactions are there. Really, we're, we're all, everything we'll deal with is the thermal mechanical part. So I have a pressure of a reservoir and a temperature of my reservoir. For a Carnot engine, the change in the exergy with respect to the change in my reservoir temperature is equal to the minus entropy. So dx dt greater than zero, and I can also have dx dt less than zero. In this context, just like we had work reversible for energy consuming and an energy uh, producing device, so there's gonna be these different limits associated with energy consuming and energy producing device, energy consuming and redu reducing the device. So this actually is dx dt represents the maximum power generated. And in this case, where is the minimum power required to So for a power generation device, we had relationships for the work reversible and the work useful or work actual. And just like with the energy consuming device, we had relationships between the work actual and the work re re reversible. Exergy is related to some way of giving us an idea of how to calculate or what are the bounds on the maximum amount of work we can expect or the minimum amount of work or power, we will need to consume something. So we'll pick up from here next lecture.